Welcome to Red 35. And today we are here reviewing a very special lens, the Panasonic Leica DG Summilux 25mm 1.4 aspherical lens. <laughs> What are you doing, Paulina? I absorb sun. Why? <laughs> I miss the vitamin D. This do, you know, do you know this part of your arm? <laughs> <laughs> this part of your uh, arm yeah. absorbs most of the vitamin D. Really? It's like you need it for um, bones and nerves and good mood. Okay, so I know now if, like, if any fashion designer should design a cloak with a transparent sleeve and long this bit so you can absorb more sun so you walk out like this every day you'll be quite healthy no really no no so we, you're just talking rubbish <laughs> <laughs> is coming I know look at the weather look at the weather just beautiful and we are here looking at one of the kind of coolest Michael Falls that standard lenses it's made by Panasonic designed by Leica and it's one of the fastest prime at the moment I know Panasonic themselves do the 1.8 version but this is at 1.4 so pretty cool there is it uh, better uh, well, it's better by stop of light, so uh, yes, you can gather a bit more light, so that means um, it's faster and also you can get a little bit more kind of background blur if you want to mm -hmm. like, shoot portrait and isolate subjects. So yes, this is cool and I think, you know, like, like I said to many, many photographers, uh, I've said it many, many times as well, that every photographer should have a standard lens no matter what, whether it's micro four third or whether it's full frame you should have a standard lens you know which is 50 millimeter in full frame terms so this is it 25 and both panasonic and olympus they're both you know micro four third um, uh, uh, producers so um, they both like produce their own standard lenses and and this is actually one of the uh, earlier ones actually because it's been around for a few years now Having said that, this is still one of the most popular standard lenses around because uh, people love the, uh, the Leica look mm -hmm. and this th actually does have that Leica look in it. Um, I'm a Leica fan, I use Leica a lot. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I, I bought this lens with the, uh, with the, you know, for the Olympus when, I, when it first came out and uh, I was just basically shooting with this virtually every single day you know uh, uh, with this particular lens on this system and I use it for travel for family for everything for some of the portrait stuff that I do and uh, if I need a smaller compact system um, so it is actually a great lens um, but now I mean obviously there are newer lenses coming out now both Panasonic and Olympus are releasing newer lenses mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm not entirely sure whether this will be updated but at the moment this is the current lens yeah. it's still one of the fastest I think for the uh, price this is actually very good value for money mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, this is very relaxing. I know, I can fall asleep just like this now. But before you're gonna fall asleep, um, I have a question, Jimmy. Yeah. Mm, you mentioned uh, Leica before mm -hmm. and yeah. Panasonic in the same time. Yes. I, ha I don't understand, I am confused. Well, many people do because uh, Leica is a Leica, Panasonic is a Panasonic. Mm -hmm. But Panasonic and Leica actually has a kind of quite a close link um, dated quite a few years back now when it first started you know all these little compact cameras when, when uh, uh, Leica actually doing the design for these little lenses for their compact cameras, uh, cameras. and then the collaboration continued with 
you know the micro four third systems so this was one of the uh, first lenses that Leica has designed for Panasonic mm -hmm. uh, for use on their micro four third systems and because it's micro four third that means that you can actually put it on an Olympus body like this one here or you can put it on a, a Panasonic body so they are cross compatible and because of that you know um, at the time of when this lens was released, uh, most of the companies were producing, well, both Panasonic and Olympus were producing the slower version and cheaper version, which is 1.8 and 1.7 respect respectively. And this was the fastest prime at the time. And obviously now it's been uh, superseded by the by the Olympus 1.2. But you know, and this is still a very very great lens, and for the values and. Um, you know, this is you know. I don't think you can actually fault this too much because you know, it's just uh, still a very great lens on its own. Right, I'm going to talk about the build quality of this lens. It is. Plastic, fantastic. Seriously, is it plastic? Very posh plastic. <laughs> Very posh plastic. I actually shouldn't even call it plastic because they have a technical term. It's polycarbonate. <laughs> I think I think it is what it's called. But you know, it's a very posh plastic. Is you know having said that though you know it's still very well built well put together lens it's very nice it's got the metal mount so that means it's durable you know i can show you you know it's, it's you know it's reasonably good um looks posh that's true it's a like i think you know it, look, it looks good um with panasonic quality yes oh uh, my god uh, is it good to say yes and and it's smooth look look at that that does i don't want to look at you <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Don't look at him. <laughs> it, it's awesome, you know. But, no, but it's a very smooth lens. So uh, you know, if you use a lot of menu focus, you appreciate how smooth this ring is. Uh, and I can also talk about the image quality. And this thing, being a Leica design optics, it means is very good. Um, it has a little bit of uh, uh, chromatic aberrations, uh, which means if you shoot a very high contrast scenes, you have these little purple fringings and the, uh, and the edges and things like that. Uh, but overall, you know, the sharpness is there, is, uh, the micro contrast is there, especially when you stop down to 2.8 and above up to 5.6 or even 6.3 micro contrast is fantastic you know you've got lots of detail so for landscape and things like that it's actually very good uh, for but even wide open you know uh, you see some of the sample shots the uh, you know I can see every single detail you know that, which is amazing you know this lens is really really good you can't fault the image quality For conclusion, uh, what do you think of the lens? Me love it. <laughs> 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 I do like this lens, in, and uh, you know, like I purchased lens and purchased this lens, you know, like long time ago, and it's still one of my favorite lenses. And this lens, you know, can stand on its own against all kinds of competitions out there because. There is no replacement to this lens and it's unique in its own right because first it's a fast prime, it's which is good. Um, and apart from this huge ridiculous looking plastic fantastic hood. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. It's tiny. <laughs> tiny. It is yeah, it's, it's it's very small, you know, like it's it's just really, you know, like suits the like, kind of Michael Thor's uh, uh, development because they wanted it to be compact, very small and you know being a very fast standard prime this is just you know one of the most portable lenses you know in, in the lineup and being a 1.4 as well so you know, this is a huge huge bonus and the image quality it, you know like I said earlier you just cannot fault this image quality still premium yeah yes yeah. price yes yes and I, tiny size and tiny size and I mean like I said the only probably drawback would be the um, the little bit of chromatic aberrations the, the little purple fringings uh, when it's shooting a very high contrast mm -hmm. scenes and but apart from that the, this this is really really good lens and and being you know purple fringing is something that you can do a little bit in post productions in you know like so you can do a little bit to fix it uh, but you know it's got very good detail 
very good colors, very sharp, and you know, it's just something that, you know, you just get it and enjoy approved, it. Approved, approved. Approved, yes, I got Paulina's <laughs> approval. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more, please subscribe us. Thumbs up, give us thumbs up. More thumbs up, more. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.